Yeah. Yeah. بدأ سجل. سجل. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. From Mosul. Today, 17th and 18th of uh, 18th of uh, October, and I'm in Ma in Mosul area in this uh, place. Some area of Al Mosul is 50% destroyed. The houses of the people, as you can see here, some area is 80% have been destroyed in the old city of Mosul, especially the old historical minaret, Al Hadba, which is historical by UNESCO. Some area have most and all of the people in it have been already left the city, left the uh, area, and left the town and the villages around Mosul district. This is the outcome of this kind of terrorist groups who come, don't care about the life of the people, about the dreams of the people, about the future of the people, about humanity. They come to destroy humanity. They came to destroy history. They came to destroy culture. They came to destroy all the dreams of the people of Mosul and Iraq. Inside Iraq itself, there's more than three million people are displaced. Three million, three million displaced people in Iraq. The forgotten issue of Iraq is going for years and years and years. Three million internally displaced people lack water, sanitation, health, education for the children and lack the right to dream for their future safety and, and, and the tranquility for themselves. Iraq is not on any country. You see, it is a country which used, a people which used, a nation which used to help everybody. All so-called Arab niche countries now, nowadays used to be supported by Iraq, used to be taught by Iraqi, used to have, seek job opportunity inside Iraq. What, it's, a, it's a shame that such a nation will suffer while we are watching the, qualif the qualification of our football team going to the World Cup next year in Russia. It's a shame that a nation like this will be suffering while we watch the Arab Idol, the Arab Got Talent, the X, the X Factor, and all this. It's a shame that we'll be engaged watching drama, watching movies, or watching all this kind of uh, destructive issue that distract us from the real issue of humanity inside Iraq. It's not only Mosul who is suffering. Salah al-Din as another district, Al-Ambar as another district, uh, Takrit as another district. Three million people. If we are in Birmingham, in UK, if we are in a, one of the Gulf countries, three million displaced is more than the population of one of the Gulf countries, is more than the population of a big city like Birmingham in UK or Manchester in UK and the others. You can imagine that those three million displaced people have nothing of the basic facilities. Iraq Red Crescent and the other organizations are trying to help as much as they can, but the need is beyond imagination. The security level and the fear at the hearts of the youngsters. Children have been <coughs> deprived from education for years. What sort of future will be facing them? Women are scared for, for the children. Men are dead, actually, or killed, or become disabled. This is the situation. We shouldn't forget a country like Iraq. We shouldn't forget a city like Mosul. We shouldn't forget an area like Salah al-Din, and Takrit, and Al-Ambar, and Ramadi, and Fallujah, because those people created civilization, created history, created culture, and we should stand right beside them not to be distracted by our uh, lively, destructive elements that actually take us away from the real issue to save and serve humanity. I'm telling the media who do not want to come here because they are politicized media. I'm telling the individuals who are actually scholars, who are actually scientists, or are actually millionaires or billionaires, come here to see the needs. Come here to pay, to pay money for the needs. Don't spend your money on cars, don't spend your money on camels. Don't spend your money on horse racing. Don't spend your money on the, how can we break the Guinness Book of Record for actually the biggest capsa or the biggest 
Samosa or the largest whatever it is, come here and make a history and make yourself a legend and create your legacy by standing next to the people that, that you need to stand next to them. You see, those people are not weak. They are stronger than us. They are richer than us. They are uh, more powerful than us. We are the weak, we are the poor, and we are the disabled because they can take the suffering while you cannot take the suffering. They can take the burden while you cannot take the burden. They can become patient while become less patient. And this is what actually we need the people globally to help the Iraqi nation, which used to help all of us in the good old days. And they will help us in the future because they created civilization, they build culture, and they build history, and they helped every rich country was supported by the Iraq people. Today I'm saying that we are in need to stand next to them. We are in need to be holding our hands in their hands. We are in need to tell all the big organization, like the Organization of Islamic Conference or the United Nations, here is the help. Uh, uh, make those people able to come back and build the society and build their country. We would love, would love, would love, would love, would love that as the Iraqi people and nation helped you in the past, you stand next to them and don't forget their issue. You need to stand next to the Iraqi people because they were having the upper hand and teaching and helping and creating civilization for humanity. You need Iraq more than Iraq needs you. You need the Iraqi people more than the Iraqi people needs you. You need to stand next to humanity more than the humanity needs to stand next to you. Because if you don't stand the human in the, next to the humanity, you have no virtue, you will have no vision, you will have no stand, and you will have no shadow that actually be following you while you are living in this life. Stand up, stand up and advocate for the case of Mosul, for the case of Iraq, for the case of this country, which helped us a lot, a lot, a lot. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. You need Iraq more than Iraq needs you. You need to stand to the people who suffer more than the people who suffer need to stand and stretch their hands to you. Do it before it's too late and Allah will make you accountable for that. Do it now, not tomorrow. If you don't do it now, Allah will protect Iraq. Allah will protect the people of Iraq. Allah will save the people of Iraq with you or without you because he helped them before, will help them now and will help them tomorrow. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.